What's good, everybody? It's Dame Stacks, artist slash producer, and today we'll be taking a look at my new game. It's called My Brother's Keeper, being developed by myself. I won't go in-depth into the story at all, because I'll let y'all see what that's like when the game comes out. But long story short is, it takes place on Earth after the Earth has ended. Post-apocalyptic. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, this right here is the space station. In the beginning of the game, you start off inside of the space station. The space station is not in outer space. It has already crashed. It's already on Earth. It crashed in Alaska, close to the North Pole. All right? So that's the first thing you need to know. So the space station is on the ground, and it's already been overrun. So when you first start out, there's already things looking for you. What you're about to see up here is called the Seekers. See those? Those right there are enemies that you cannot kill. There's nothing you can do about them. They walk slow because if they catch you, you are automatically dead. There's different types of seekers. They look like their surroundings. So whatever they're around is usually what they look like. So if you notice the black one looks like the space station, it's because he's in the space station. They try to camouflage. But the normal seekers have red lights that come from their head. You can spot them from a mile away. But after you get far enough away, they will leave you alone. But in the beginning, basically, you just got to navigate your way out of the space station so you can get to the rest of the world. Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't work out the way I planned it. Forgive me. And I ran out of bullets shooting at something I knew I couldn't kill. But yeah, like as far as like the actual interaction of the game goes, it's like all of this is going to have different audio clips and things going on. This isn't going to be just you walking around in pure silence trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. It's like we actually do begin to explain things. And excuse my French. I know we all cuss, but uh, I cuss more than most. I'm trying not to. But it's like I'm basically just doing all of this so y'all can get a good idea of how the game is going to look. And of course, I need all of y'all to share, share, share all the time. <laughs> Why can't I hit this? Thing? I almost died again. Now, as you can notice, they are everywhere. So you got to be careful. Because if they catch you, they got you. It's like use your surroundings to make sure you can keep them away from you and you'll be good. This one's stuff. Be harmless. If you want to get a good look at one. The models will probably be a lot different by the time the game comes out. I'm just being honest. Things are changing constantly. I'm getting my own model creators. Because I'm not good with Maya or Blender. So it isn't like I'm sitting around creating models myself. I really just got to go off of what I go off of until I can get newer models. Now that doesn't mean everything that's in my game is an asset because I actually have made some models myself but usually it's things like furniture and small stuff like that. It isn't like actual enemies. You want to stay away from them. They have multiple guns on them and they will kill you. It takes quite a bit to kill them. If you notice I'm shooting at things randomly it's because I'm not really concentrating at the moment but you really want to save your ammo. Because everything in this game is hard to kill. It's meant to be that way. Except for security cameras. You can shoot them in one shot. they kind of just there for filler until I think of something else. Because eventually I will be releasing a beta version very soon. And I want y'all to play it and tell me if y'all find bugs or what y'all think. Now, if y'all notice, this is the end of the space station. This is where it crashed at. And this is the world, guys. It's an open world game. And the world is huge. And when I say it's huge, you'd be quite amazed at how much work I put into this. I have no help. It's been no one but me. But it's like, basically, you get to explore everything. All the buildings you can enter just about. Some oh, shit. Lord. Hey, I can't die here. We need the hell out of there. But yes, just take your time and go explore the world. There's a lot to look at. There'll be collectibles in the world, which actually give you a reason to be out here exploring things as opposed to just walking around staring at assets and shit. But it's like, it definitely is about to come around full circle. I have a lot of people who are interested in working with me, just haven't really found anybody who I can actually 
work with hands on. But it's like definitely we'll be releasing the game pretty soon. Oh shit. Yeah, if one of those little cars pull up on you, I call them cars, they're really drones, they go one up there too. They will kill you. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. You will die here. Oh shit. God damn it. If you hear that noise, your ass about to die. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, oh, oh. Those things will kill you quick too. But they're damn near blind. So when you see them, you really ain't got much to worry about. As opposed to these motherfuckers that's creeping up on me right now. Like, no, oh shit. Don't want to run across them. I do not feel like getting back inside that space station because I have not set any other spawn points or save points or checkpoints yet. We ain't playing them games. But yes, one of the main things about this game that y'all need to realize is, though, is that the levels are not all on the ground. And what I mean by that is, the majority of the game is in the air. As you see, I just went up a ramp, but if you pay close attention, you'll see just how far this ramp will take you. I really need to increase how high he can jump. This shit is getting ridiculous. Like, my mind, note yourself. Increase the jump height of my character. But yes, as you can see, there's always more to find the higher you go up. It's like, so don't think that just because you explored everything on the ground that you've seen all the game has to offer. In fact, you haven't seen shit. The majority of the game is not down there. The more interesting things are higher up. Oh, fuck. Forgot about him. Oh, we got that. Oh shit! God damn it! That was some disappointing shit there. I'm gonna keep it hundred with y'all. I'm not walking all the way back outside, all right? But I just want y'all to get a good idea. Y'all see it, and it's only gonna get better. Within about two months, I'll be releasing a version of it that y'all can actually play for free. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. And I need voice actors. I need models. Anything that y'all feel like y'all can help me with. If you want to be a part of a dope project, let me know. Because I promise you this project is going to be dope. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Come back for more. And if y'all are trying to create games yourself and you want to kind of see how I did some things, I can definitely show you. I have no problem making a tutorial video on how to create a level. I'm not even saying my levels are the greatest, but I definitely can do a thing or two. You know what I'm saying? So, be sure to stay in touch. 